Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Rusty78609. I'm just leaving the golf course here in Lano, Texas, a little 18-hole golf course, a nice little course. It's not Pebble Beach, it's not the Doral Country Club, but it is a nice little course. We just played, there were three groups, and uh, old, old folks like me, old men, and it was a scramble, you know, best ball. It was a lot of fun. I haven't played in three and a half years. I was wondering how it was all going to work out. And it was fun. Uh, we actually won. <laughs> we actually won. I mean, that was amazing. I thought we were going to come in last, but my team was lucky enough to come in first. We were six under, which doesn't sound like much, and it's really not much. You know, sometimes they'll have a team that comes in 12 or 13 under, but today was not one of those days, and I don't know why. Well, the fairways were a little grown up and that hurt people on the drives because you know the old folks can't hit the ball very far and if you can't hit it very far and the fairways haven't been mowed then the ball doesn't go very far and on some of the par fives and stuff it can be difficult for older people like my gang but we did okay we actually won you know you don't win much all you do is basically get the money back that you put in the pot and a little more but it's better than not getting anything back and so they also have, we got a carryover on the quote skins. The skin hole was tied. So that carries over to next Thursday and I may play next Thursday just to see if I can't win the uh, skins that are carried over and see what happens. Yeah, it, it was okay. You know, my net out go after the winnings was like 20 bucks for 18 holes of golf, including the gasoline over here and back home, which I really shouldn't consider, but I do it just to be, correct but yeah the total outgo i don't know well the total yeah 20 bucks was the total for everything including the gasoline and was it worth it sure i had a good time a lot of good jokes you know i hit some bad horrible shots hit a few good ones not many <clears throat> putting was crap and uh but the only way to get better you can practice at the driving range uh and you can do a lot of things you can go to the practice greens and putt which might help a little bit but for me uh, it seems to work better if uh, I just play and so that's what I plan to do and I'll probably play you know maybe two times a month in the good weather like we're having right now the temperature now is about 88 degrees which is not bad the winds blowing out of the south I think it could be the south it could be the east but it's um, it wasn't bad, you know. We started at nine o'clock. We finished about 12:30, three and a half hours. Do you get any exercise riding in a cart? Sure, you do, because you have to park, walk to where your golf ball is several times, walk up to the green and back, and so forth. So yeah, you get a lot of walking in 18 holes. You do, and so I feel pretty good about that. And I took me some M and M's as a snack, which is nothing but pure sugar. Uh, and I, do you realize that nine M and M's with peanuts? 140 calories. I didn't realize. I just happened to look at the package. But I ate one M&M on each hole. And it, it does help. And I also took a banana and also took plenty of water to drink so that I kept hydrated. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. And, and of course, then we go back in the clubhouse and waited for the other groups to finish. And you know, they came in. I, I knew we were going to come in last because six under usually doesn't win anything. Uh, but this time it did you know it's just the way it was you know for whatever reason i don't know but it was fun and then of course you get all the jokes and stuff in the clubhouse after it's all over you know then they start you know, a lot of politics talked about because we got a, a senatorial election and in, in texas now you got Cruz up against uh beto o'rourke and uh yeah they were talking about that i'm not i'm not political so i'm not worried about that but having said that, I just wanted to give you a heads up. This is Lano, Texas, and uh, as soon as we get going here, I'll show you the, the bridge across the Lano River, and we'll drive through Lano, and then I'll end the video. But we just passed on the right the old courthouse square. I don't know why oh, this guy's waiting on some people. But it's a population. I think the Lano population is probably close to 3,000, I think. It's a nice little community, I guess. I mean, it depends on... You know what you particularly enjoy. I'm going to turn the camera a little bit to the right. Not too much. Not like that, I guess. I hope I did it right. 
But yeah, the Llano River is, is flowing very well. They've had some rain on the watershed for the Llano River, and it's really nice. And that, that provides pretty much uh, all the water for the county, for the city particularly, and the rest of the county too, maybe. But the time, let's see, the time right now is 12, uh, well, it's almost one o'clock. We were in the clubhouse for about 30 minutes. So yeah, it took us about three and a half hours to play uh, 18 holes, which is pretty quick. It's not a real long course. You know, it's not, not, not very long at all. And I did notice that, you know, there was one guy in our group that was 83, one guy that was 78, uh, and then you know, uh, another guy that was 72, and then of course I'm 73. Uh, the youngest guy in my group was 72. So, you know, that tells you something. But the guy that was 83, since he's over, his, over 80, uh, he gets to hit from the red tees or the ladies tees and uh, yeah so if he hit a good drive you know we didn't even the rest of us didn't even have to hit you know we just go to his ball so it, it makes it a pretty laid back uh game and uh, no stress on anyone walk down the highway there ladies smart but having said that it's pretty laid back a lot of fun you know they went in the clubhouse and everybody got them a shine or beer i didn't get any beer i don't you know i stick to my my, my routine, uh, pretty religiously, my routine is beer 30, about 4 p.m., wherever I am. And so we'll wait for that event here in a little bit. But now we're leaving Llano, Texas, headed on, this is Highway 29 going east. Uh, I'm about uh, ooh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes from my house right now, or my RV on Park Road 4. And I'm in absolutely no hurry. I've got a banana to eat, and that'll be my lunch. And then tonight I'll make me some something with some beans and stuff. And that'll be the way that goes. And then next week, next Thursday, I'll probably play again. And then, uh, and then Friday, if the weather permits, or Saturday next week, I may go to the RV show in Round Rock, Texas at Dale Diamond. Dale Computer's big facility he built there. Michael Dale. But having said that, guys, the golf was overall, I give the whole event, now, now my play, I give a two or a three. Uh, the overall event as to the quality of the friendship, camaraderie, and everything else, I'd give it an eight because it's fun. These guys are a lot of fun. They're all old men. You know, they're not trying to prove anything. You know, no games. You know, they do talk politics a lot, which, you know, I guess that's the way people do. They also watch a lot of you know, network television, which I don't. So, you know, I was kind of out of the loop on that, which is fine, and I'll stay out of the loop on that for the rest of my life. Huh? But having said that, from down the highway on, or excuse me, on Highway 29 headed east, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want. If you think about it, use the link to Amazon products. I sincerely appreciate that. Some of you are, and some of you have. The Amazon link is in the description of all of my videos. Doesn't cost you one penny. What else? Drink plenty of water, and that's something else I noticed today. I was the only one that brought me a large cup of water with a lid and a straw and had plenty to drink all the way around the course, and these other guys were running out of steam. I noticed it on number, like, say, 13, 14, and that range. They started going down the hill pretty quick, but I felt pretty good, and uh, with an M&M &M on every hole, I was doing fine. But anyway, you know, do drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day. Take deep breaths, breathe in deeply, breathe out slowly. It all helps because that lowers the stress, relieves, uh, lowers your blood pressure. And then what else? Uh, stretch, walk, you know, deep, exercise your body. And what else? Uh, you know, stand guard at the door of your mind. You know, don't let negative thoughts in. And today I had to, you know, kind of redirect the conversation a couple of times because they were getting into some negative crap I didn't want to hear. And it's really easy to change the conversation. Say, oh, by the way, did you hear? Or have you ever seen? And, you know, next thing you know, the conversation is totally changed and nobody even missed all that negative crap. So, you know, uh, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and enjoy your life one day at a time. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.